Dorian, you had you were listed as questionable for the left knee soreness. What can you tell us about how your availability for tonight? Um, I'm gonna be out there tonight. Uh, excited to get back out there with the guys. Um, you know, hard fought game last game, but we need this win tonight. Was there something that happened in the game before Golden State that with the, with the knee? Um, it was the um, the Phoenix game, but I tried to you know play through it that um, that game in Denver, and uh, you know it just ain't feel well. When it, com when it comes to now looking at this road trip, in what ways do you guys need to tighten things up to wrap it up on a high note? Um, just get this win. Um, we played, we uh, had some great tests this this road trip. I felt like we uh, learned a lot about each other and uh, you know playing great teams on the road. And uh, the, the margin of error got to, is very little for us. So uh, tonight's game is big for us because we you know want to finish the road trip on a high note. We're now you know, pretty deep into the season, maybe a third of the way season. Um, in your mind, is this the best that you've shot the ball, particularly catch and shoot? So. Um, I don't know. I feel like I got uh, better days coming, man. You know, uh, it's a long season, so I just got to be consistent, um, you know, get my reps, stay in the gym, and uh, keep getting better every game. These last uh, these three losses during this trip, you guys have started slow. What do you think has caused that for you guys, you think? Um, we just got to do a better job of uh, putting a 48-minute game together. Um, you know, we still haven't, you know, I, I mean, RF always talk about it. We had that one game where we put the whole game together, and uh, I think it's time for us to do that now. Like you said, it's one-third of the year, and, um, you know, it's time for us to, to make them leaps to uh, be a great team. Speaking of, I'm sorry, do you sense that, like, this is something teams are doing early for you guys that makes it tougher to get going? Obviously, Denver, the altitude was out, too, but is there something where teams are being more aggressive in the first? Um, no, I would always just say it's us. Um, I can't, you know, it's, 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 it, ain't, it don't matter who we play against. It's always us versus us, and um, we just got to do a better job of, of starting games. And, um, you know, coaches challenged us last game to pick up our energy and, and our physicality, and they did. And they did. You mentioned the word physicality on the defensive side of things. Where can you guys take it to that next level to have that next leap? Um, you know, limit guys to one off to you know one shot. Um, being more physical, um, you know, and ball screen. You know, making it harder for guys in the ball screen, and you know, um, and getting out and run. You know, every possession is is kind of tough, but you know that's part of you know being physical and uh, being aggressive. Jacques. Uh was recounting to us the conversation that he had with you after you got hurt and then you came back and he was saying he was going to try something different mm -hmm. with the starting lineup. Um, obviously, you've always been praised as a team player. I'm just curious how difficult that conversation was in the moment. Oh, it wasn't difficult at all, man. Um, you know, if, if that's what you know, they think going to help us be successful, then, you know, I'm, I'm with it. And, uh, now, as long as I'm on, the, I can get in the court and uh, and play and, and play my minutes hard, and that's all I can focus on. You know, if we win, you know, everybody happy. A couple of the lessons that Jock mentioned about for this trip is like extra opportunities other teams are getting in the rebounding game and cleaning up those turnover looks. When you think about this Jazz group, who can rebound, who can also get those second looks, what is going to be key for you guys against this Jazz? We just got to pick up where we left off from from that Golden State game. Uh, you know, uh, they. First half, they killed us on the offensive glass, and uh, you know, second half we did a uh, better job. So we just got to have some carryover, because this is, like they said, this is one of the top teams, you know, uh, rebounding. So and they big, you know, they got, you know, marketing who's seven foot playing a three. <laughs> so um, uh, we we just gotta take the challenge. You gotta take the challenge, and uh, we gotta limit the arm. We call them the on-ball turnovers, you know, the live ball turnover. We can't have live ball turnovers. You know, give teams easy looks and uh, easy transition points and, uh, and just try to make them play uh, half-court offense. In your mind, has that been the biggest problem in the slow starts you guys have had? So you guys have had some... Yeah, it's just been the turnovers and the uh, offensive rebounds. So it's just, um, you know, the hustle plays. And uh, But once, you know, once we address them, I feel like we've been battling back. Uh, we can't do that. Like I said, our margin for error is little. You know, we ain't we ain't one of those teams that could you know play around. We gotta you know come out with our head on straight. Mikel said that this road trip has been good for you guys to measure yourselves up against these teams in the West. Obviously, record aside, this Utah team has presents those tough challenges. So, do you feel like this road trip has been a good measuring stick? For sure. Um, like I said, we played champions. Um, 
Um, we, we got to play Phoenix. You know, they're a good team as well. And, uh, you know, like I say, uh, in Golden State, they, they got a championship environment. So it's, it's been good for us. You know, you know that we need to win this game because obviously it's a, you know, we need every win we can get. But, you know, just to finish this road trip on a high note.